Hey everybody, Brad Johnson here. As I talked about uh, a couple of days ago, uh, in regards to one of my last videos about the Kazarev mirror, while well, you're looking at it. This is our own makeshift Kazarev mirror. It's kind of our first prototype. We're not completely finalizing it just yet, but we gave it a try. This is in one of my spare bedrooms downstairs, uh, one of our offices, and we just took about an hour and a half or so just to get everything together. We basically have a, uh, a steel, kind of like a steel uh, clothes hanger like circle. I was actually suggesting the idea that we get like a large hula hoop and that we're basically making our uh, Kazarev mirror circular. We were thinking of a spiral, but I just, I just don't think we have the room to do a spiral here in this bedroom. So we're gonna make it circular. Now I spent about five minutes just to give it a test uh, inside the Kazarev mirror. This is exceptionally powerful. This is really, really powerful. <laughs> so uh, it also helps with radiate region in the other room as well too, right? So having that together with this just adds to extra, extra power. Uh, like I said, it's just kind of our makeshift version. This is just the prototype. We're gonna be making it better but we're just gonna be keeping it kind of in a circular fashion rather than a spiral fashion. But there is just something really powerful. It's almost like you're looking at a, a, a circular hall of mirrors where reflections are all around you 360 degrees. Whereas if you take a flashlight, the light bends, right? And that's exactly a part of a requirement for the Kazarev mirror. But I'm really impressed with this. This is a Kazarev was on to something, right? This is this is containment, and containment of of just the, the universal energy, the the super conscious mind, the subconscious mind, together with the conscious mind. It's it's extremely powerful. It's like being inside a capsule, a capsule of pure universal consciousness, right? And you do have to be very aware of how you're feeling because it's going to reflect back how you're feeling, right? So like I said, guys, I haven't disappeared. <laughs> I was in this just for a few minutes and I was really enjoying it, but I said, you know what, I'll make a quick video just to let people know how the Kazarev mirror is doing. Or as I call it, kind of, it's not really a Fibonacci because we're not really following the Fibonacci sequence too much, but we are just basically making it into a cylindrical 360 degree mirror. So you could still refer to it as a Kazarev mirror, but it is outstanding. I'll do a little bit of a walk around here. Like I so said, there's some parts that are kind of a bit crinkly. crinkly. But overall, it's not too bad. We got uh, some stuff on the floor here, so <laughs> I'm just going around very carefully. Make sure I don't trip over anything. So, this is giving you the 360 degree perspective of the Kazi Rev mirror. I got stuff on my foot. <laughs> but like I said, guys, I told you I'd keep you guys updated. Here it is. It's in the making, it's the prototype, it's our makeshift one, but it still works really, really good. And we're gonna make one even better. So more updates to come as we continue to work with it and uh, hope you're all doing well. And we'll see you in the next update. Be well.